Cardinals, this video will show you how to set up your Google Classroom account and a tutorial on Google Classroom. Google Classroom is the way you will see your lessons and assignments each day. If you are a distance learner, you will check it Monday through Friday and complete all assignments. If you are a face-to-face -face learner, you will check it on the days you are not at Brighton High School and complete all assignments. It's also a way to see what you missed in class if you are absent. Google Classroom also has an app which is available for both Apple and Android phones. So first, I'm going to show you how to set up your Google Classroom account. On your web browser, I'm using Google Chrome to go to the Google website. You can also use Mozilla Firefox, but Google Chrome is probably the easiest to use. In the top right corner, click on the sign in, or you might have to select uh, use another account. So I'm going to click on sign in. And then you're going to enter your Tipton County email address. Mine is already there, but you should have your Tipton County email address. You received a piece of paper that showed you several accounts you will need this year. And on this paper, you will look for your Google Classroom information. You're going to enter your Tipton County email address and then click, click Next. And then you're going to enter your password, which for you is going to be your six-digit cafeteria number that you use for a lot of things around Brighton High School. And then you will click Next. Once you're logged in, you'll probably see a little colored circle at the top right-hand corner. That means that you are logged in. And you can look for the symbol right next to that that looks like a tic-tac-toe board. If you click on the tic-tac-toe board, you will see Google Classroom. You will click on Google Classroom. And you are going to have to join all of your classes. You will see that I have a lot of classes up here because I've already joined some classes. But yours will come up blank, and then you will have to join classes. So you go to the plus sign that is in the top right-hand corner. Click on the plus sign, and then you're going to click join class. Once you join class, you're going to have to have a class code to uh, be able to join all your classes. Now, your class code can be given to you in one of two ways. First, your teacher can give you your class code in person if you're a face-to-face -face learner, or if you're a distance learner or want to go ahead and set up your classes, you can go to the Brighton High School website and get your class code. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you're going to open up Brighton High School's website, which is just bhs.tipton-county.com. And once you click on that, you will click on Cardinal Family and Teachers. And then from there, you can see all the teachers at Brighton High School. And you will be able to click on a teacher's website and get your codes for Google Class. So I'm going to click on Coach Brand's website just to show you. For Coach Brand's Algebra 1, he has all his Google Classroom access codes right there on the front of his web page. And whatever um, period you're in, you'll pick that code and go put it back into your Google Classroom account. Remember, this is all on the Brighton High School website, and it's all on under Cardinal Family and Teachers, and then you'll click on your teacher's name to get those Google Classroom accounts. So once you've done that, you will enter the code here, and then you will click Join in the top right-hand corner. Again, I've joined a lot of classes, so I'm not going to do that right now, but you will just click join there and it will uh, let you join that class. Now, let's talk about how you're going to see assignments for a class. Once you have joined all your classes, either seven or eight classes, depending on what grade level you're in, you're going to go into whatever class uh, you need 
for that day. Usually you're going to go in all of them for that day. So I'm going to go in Coach Tillman's class for today's purposes. And this is like our orientation class. You're going to click on the class name and this brings you to the stream that we have for that class. This is where you see the name of the class, the period, and sometimes you might even have a Google Meet link here that your teacher can explain further. But you should also be able to see for every class what day the teacher is going to have tutoring. Um, that's already on every Google uh, Classroom account. Um, you can also see upcoming work that is due and any announcements from the teacher. That's all in here. There's also an upcoming button on the left that shows you what work is due that week or even that day. So right now we don't have any work due, but that will change come August 17th. The main place you need to go is the classwork page. And on the classwork page, it's going to tell you what you have to do every single day. Um, each week you will see a topic with that week's dates. So we're going to start with the week of August 17th through 21st and you will see every school day underneath that week of your assignments. So for example on Monday August 17th for Coach Tillman's class I will click on it and you can either just click on it and expand it or you can even click view assignment which will bring up a bigger page for you and once you click on that there are three things that coach Tillman wants me to do that day he wants me to watch the mitosis video he wants me to go to Edgenuity, which is a new online pl platform and complete the warm-up and instruction for the mitosis lesson and he wants me to watch YouTube and write a, a YouTube video and write a one page summary. So the teacher is also going to put everything on here that you need for that particular day. Coach Tillman said I needed to go to Edgenuity, so that's linked, and I even need to watch this video. Now, once all those things are done, once I've spent probably 45 minutes or an hour on this particular lesson, I can hit mark as done. That is letting the teacher know that you are complete with your assignment for that day, and they can go ahead and grade anything that uh, you had to turn in that day and make sure sure that you are finished. Now, we are going to talk more about Edgenuity in a different video. Um, just know that that's one place that a lot of your teachers are going to ask you to go. So, I'm going to pretend that I'm done with everything Coach Tillman asked me to do that day, and I'm going to hit Mark is done. And it's even going to ask you a second time if you're good with finishing everything. So, I'm going to say yes on that. Now, a teacher can see if you did it or not, so don't just hit mark as done and think that you're automatically done. Now, if I want to go back to see um, the, another class, then I can simply hit on the main menu button on the left that looks like three lines, and I can go to any of the classes that I have available to me. But also, if I just want to go back to Coach Tillman's class, I can hit the back button, and it will show me what's next. So you can see that on Tuesday, there is an assignment for a quiz that I need to do. On Wednesday, he has three things that I need to do to continue with mitosis. On Thursday, same thing, there are assignments there, and even for Friday. So you will see for each class, every single day, there will be something that you need to do. Now, again, one more time, if you need to go back to the main screen, you're going to click on the main menu icon that looks like three lines, and you can hit classes and go back to the front, or you can click on any of your other classes. So, I finished Coach Tillman's work. Um, you can click in Coach Brand's class or whatever class you have next, and you will continue with all your assignments. The most important thing you need to remember is that you check every class 
every single day. That is important for attendance and also that you do not get behind on your assignments at Brighton High School. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, you can contact your grades counselor or your grades administrator and get extra help. Thank you.